Go, BG! <laughs> It was incredible. I was so happy that most of my family got to be there. I didn't know my grandpa was coming, so that was amazing. And he got to see me play after five years. My parents were lucky to make it here on a senior night and saw me play here. But I think it was very special for all of us that I got to play in Europe, in my home country, with my friends. For us, it was nice to see and come to Prague. Uh to see the match, so it's fantastic. Yeah, so and we are happy that uh, BG and uh, all team and uh, the coaches, because we know all the coaches from the US, and uh, we were happy to see and welcome uh, the team here in the Czech Republic. What's it like to be home, Petra? It's great. I'm really excited. We just got here, and we're about to go do all the fun stuff. Yehlava, this city, was is from 12th century, towards the end of the 12th century. It, it was the biggest silver mine, or it's still, it's considered the biggest silver mining city in Europe. I performed here playing on a guitar with our orchestra. Now we're in the Gothic Hall, and this is uh, an important event. Uh, happen here, like important meetings, and I also received my high school diploma in this room. So, <laughs> blue. I mean, the first day I got here and first few weeks, my teammates were, were showing me around and how the culture is. The pay that forward and do the same thing in my country and explain all our traditions and what we do. And I was glad I got to do the same thing for them as they did for me. This to America. <laughs> right now we're in my room. No, it's not very big, but it, it serves its purpose. It's my bed and I have a lot of decoration with my friends and I have my medals that what I accumulated over the years. So yeah, yes, sweet little home. This is my brother's room. He's playing professional volleyball and he has a lot of awards and a lot of stuff about him. So, yeah. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> He said to be careful, the ceilings are very low. The underground itself is 25 kilometers long under the whole city, which would be around 20 miles, 20 miles long. This was used when they were repairing this and building this down here. Yeah, in the 50s, uh, all there's more bomb shelters and the, the bomb shelters that were located underground could hold up to 30,000 people. So they could fit the whole town in them. They were equipped so that you could live in them here for up to a month. The sound that is playing right now is from the 68 when Russians started occupying us. So everybody found it out from the radio from this exact recording. And it's saying you're being occupied by Russia. They're saying what time, and they really couldn't do much about it. He lived through it, he heard this. So, yeah. Like, if the entrance, because there wasn't that many, the entrance is full of stone and it collapsed, that's the emergency exit they had to take. 
They, my mom said it's it's awesome. Yeah, that they're it would enjoying. be fun to teach them Isaac Zumba. The kids made this. On the right or left, this is so good. So the war started. More and more Ukrainian refugees started coming to our city, and my mom is a teacher, so she was accepting more and more kids, and it touched us by heart when she started hearing about their stories and that some of them just had to leave with a plastic bag running for their life. We are so grateful for what we have and we wanted to share that with others and make them feel at home no matter how far they are from home because it's definitely a difficult situation no matter where you're from if you have to leave your house and your family. So we wanted to be there for them and help them as much as possible. I'm grateful for my mom and dad and everything they've done for me and I think they, not I think, I know, they appreciate that I get to be on a scholarship and study in the United States and all the lessons it has brought me and given me and all the memories.